dear students welcome to the e learning session this initiative has been taken by cambridge international school the sur hello i am of the working as pgtip here students uh, in the series of sessions today we will uh, go on how to apply different operations on arrays so moving to the today's topic so that is the operations on arrays so today we will uh, see how to apply different operations addition multiplication division so these are the different uh, arithmetic operations and we will also study uh, the advanced operations like transpose and so on. so moving forward students uh, the topic that we have covered what is numpy installing uh, the command for installing numpy numpy array creation of numpy array from the list attributes like we applied different uh, methods on uh, numpy and finally we did the indexing and slicing so we'll just have a uh, go through from these topics first is numpy so numpy stands for numerical python so it has uh, uh, interface uh, with other programming with other um, python packages and provides tools for integrating with other programming languages very powerful tool this is then is this is the command that uh, if you are not uh, using the jupyter notebook so then you can install uh, the numpy on your system with pip install numpy command array so what is an array is so we have learned about different data types like tuple dictionary so we'll discuss the uh, the another data type is array array is basically a collection of homogeneous elements elements with the same data type and they share with a single identifier and also <coughs> it can be referenced by using its index so we'll also look at what is the indexes so characteristic what are the main characteristics so the element should be of same type the elements inside the system are stored at continuous memory locations and each element is referenced using its a name of the array along with the index elements so very easy to access elements because the elements are stored at the continuous memory location like uh, you can see it, uh, see here that this is a one dimensional array and the index value of uh, 10 is uh, that is given here the first element and its index value is 0 that's why this is also called zero based indexing because system starts the index value from 0 and the index value of 90 is 4 about the numpy so numpy are used to store list of numerical data the numpy number library has a large set of routines like built in functions for creating manipulating and and transforming the numpy array so today we will uh, look at few more functions on the numpy array and numpy array is officially called ndl that is the n dimensional array but it is commonly known as array so students so last we have covered the indexing and slicing look at uh, the indexing is we have learned about the indexing in a single dimension that i showed you the the last example for two day uh, for two d arrays uh, we have basically two dimension rows and columns they are represented by i and j so where i represents the row row number and j represents the column number so this is the example that we have taken that uh, there are four students represented by four rows and uh, three subjects represented by columns clear so this array we have named it as marks so this is it, it is having four rows and three columns that's why it is written as 4 by 3 matrix so this array can store 4 into 3 that is 12 elements it can store so if we have to access a particular element like we want to access 70 Uh, 72 marks scored by prashad in subject english so for that 
uh, we will have to say marks is the name of the array how we are going to access that then fourth row is accessed by applying three because uh, the index value starts from zero and second column is accessed by supplying the value one so marks three one basically access the element 72 that is the marks of prasad in english next is slicing so slicing is to making the part of something bigger one so here sometimes we need to extract part of the array we don't need full uh, array we need part of the array that is also called a subset of the array so this is done through slicing so in slicing we have a start value end value and then a uh, increment or decrement value that is called the step value so if step value is missing so by default it will have a step value as one now students uh, our basic uh, today's topic is how to apply different operations on Arrays. Once the arrays are declared, we can access its elements and perform certain operations. So we'll see what are the operations we will be applying on this. First, we look at the arithmetic operations. We already know, students, what are the arithmetic operations. We have already done uh, in our earlier chapters arithmetic operations uh, like plus, minus, division, multiplication remainder operator so these are the different uh, arithmetic operations we have and these operation now we are going to apply on arrays so moving to the Jupyter notebook to take some applied examples so coming to the python interface students first we will go and create the first array that's the name of this array one np dot array numpy so it means that we have to first import the package import numpy package as np so array is we have to supply the elements so 3 comma 6 first row then second row is 4,2 fine so this is my first array similarly I am going to create the array 2 is equal to np dot array with elements 10 and 20 then the second row is 15 and 12 moving forward clear so students we have created these arrays so we can uh, see these arrays array one just from this one so so you see you will find uh, the result here very soon because the star means uh, that this is running So array 1 and array 2 I have printed here. So you can see the array 1 is basically containing two rows with elements 3, 6 and 4, 2 and similarly the, uh, the array 2 matrix that is having these elements. So now students moving forward our first step is to apply the basically the addition. So addition of two arrays. So that is simply done by array 1 plus array 2 so the course corresponding array elements will get added so here you can see the result clear students uh, similarly we can go with the subtraction operation clear so let's say array array 1 minus array 2 so this is how we go with this one run this one so you find the result here that elements of uh, array 2 are subtracted from the array 1 so here you get the resultant matrix similarly we go with the next operation is let's say now with the multiplication so in multiplication it needs to understand that this step we are not doing as a matrix multiplication here only the elements will get multiplied 
multiply with array 2 so when you run this one so you see the corresponding elements clear how we can see the corresponding elements now this 3 get multiplied by 10 we get 30 6 get multiplied by by with 20 and we get 120 so like this this is called multiplication simple elements get multiplied and if we have to go with the matrix 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 multiplication so what we need to do here for that array one and the operation here is this this at the red sign symbol is used array two and when we use this one students you see we get the result like a matrix multiplication so in mathematics we uh, we study how the matrix are basically multiplied so we will not go into too much details now now the next is similarly uh, we have exponential so if we want to find the exponent exponential clear so that is like array one we want to get the exponent by three of all the elements so you run this one so you see here first element was three so its cube is find out similarly the next element was six its cube and corresponding elements their cubes are find out so we can find the uh, exponential of each element of the matrix clear students rest is the we can go with the division operation also clear so you run this one so this operation is basically the you can write here now this is division clear so these are the basic operations uh, that are categorized under the arithmetic operations that we apply on the matrices another important operation that we will study next is the to find the transpose so before finding the transpose let's say students we want to find the element wise division we want let's say one more experiment on the arithmetic side it says that is element wise remainder of division operation so how this is done very simple let's say what we do now array 2 and is the remainder operator array 1 so all the elements of array 2 will get divided by array 1 and we will get their corresponding remainder element wise so you come this one so you get uh, the result this is my resultant matrix which is containing the remainder of the division by dividing the array 2 with the corresponding matrix array 1 and we get the result here so now moving to the next operation is how to calculate the transpose so very important operation in matrix now coming back to the ppt transpose what is transpose is transpose transposing an array turns its rows into columns and columns into rows just like the matrix in mathematics so this is the conversion of rows into columns and columns into rows so this is how this is done we'll again go back to our interface jupyter interface and we will calculate the transpose so coming back to the jupyter notebook for calculating the transpose first we will create a array let's say now i name my array as array 3 so i will invoke the function np dot array so i will be creating two dimensional matrix so first row elements are 10 minus 7 0 let's say 20 now talking of the second row 
second row elements are minus 5 comma minus 1 then next is 200 next is 40 then going for the third row let's say elements are 30 then 1 then minus 1 and last one is 4 clear so this is my second row sorry third row and i will try to run this one now so students you are able to see the matrix this is, this is the matrix with how many rows it is having it is having three rows and four columns so when i apply the transpose on this so the rows will get converted into the column so let's say i just uh, copy this one for calculating the transpose for calculating the transpose this is very easy just to invoke the uh, transpose method so for calculating the transpose array 3 dot my transpose method is okay so this is how to how to calculate the transpose so we can give a comment here this step is to find the transpose of the given matrix so you just go to the run and uh, here you can see students uh, the the original uh, matrix and the matrix after transpose in the original matrix we were having uh, three rows and four columns now columns have become three and rows have become four so columns are changed into rows and rows are changed into column so like my first column here is 10 minus 5 30 so this has become the first row the second column has become the second row the third column has become the third row and the fourth column has become the fourth row so this is how the uh, basically columns have been converted into rows okay this is what a transpose means so this is an important operation in a matrix that we have done today so first students we have uh, applied the different arithmetic operations addition of two matrix multiplication division and the multiplication uh, uh, uh is basically divided into two parts one is element wise multiplication and second is matrix multiplication and uh, then we basically go with the division operation then the element wise remainder operation of the division so that is how the each elements get divided and and we get the resultant remainder uh, in the resultant matrix and finally we did another matrix operation that is the transpose so students uh, uh, you might have find the today's session fruitful uh, the important thing is you just practice all these things so if you practice this so then you will become quite uh, comfortable with in python so uh, my humble request to you to practice this one if you uh, get any doubt you can come to me contact me and i will discuss your problem So students at the end of the session I thank you all for attending the session on the behalf of Cambridge International School I thank you all for attending the session thank you thank you very much